Hi, this is JP from Northern Lights of Arkham. Welcome to the scenario 5 of Dark Matter in this Arkham Horror LCG campaign playthrough series. And we are up to the scenario Fragment of Carcosa. So last time we managed to beat the machine in yellow scenario and got 4 experience from that. So let's look what upgrades I did to Diana's deck. Okay, and we are over on ArkhamCDB.com and not much upgraded in the deck. I just decided to upgrade my Vicious Blows to level 2 for this uh, scenario. If I need some more uh, punch to my hits, I think Vicious Blow level 2 is good, good upgrade and um, nothing else upgraded, so... Uh, let's go back to the scenario. Okay, so we are set up here in Fragment of Carcosa. <clears throat> so first off, let's read the inter uh, intro for this scenario. So, scenario 5, uh, Fragment of Carcosa. There is no time to waste. As if it were muscle memory, you adorn the magic shift shrine by installing one of the Quantum shards in the center. Several of the golden discs obtained from the Maiko must be placed in front, aligned to form a CCG. With the components in order, you pronounce the unspeakable message from Earth. Let the Red Dawn surmise what we shall do when this blue star die, starlight dies and all is through. The golden disc begin trembling, building momentum until they all turn upright and begin to roll around the shrine in one direction. The quantum artifacts U shifts into a yellow glare before glowing an intense and dense red. The disc, discs spin around and around the surface at different but consistent speeds, until they finally slow down to a crawl and fall over the simul all fall over simultaneously. Then, as suddenly as it began, the red shard erupts in a fog of nebulous gas, lighting you in its flurry. When your eyesight returns, all that remains are the golden disks resting at various locations across the floor. You instinctively recognize this as a schematic of the solar system. Upon closer examination, a single remnant of the, pur of the purple shard remains between what you believe is Jupiter and Saturn orbits. K2PS187 confirms that the Picton is accurate to the current star time and begins plotting a course towards the asteroid. On the way there, you think of the different worlds you have visited and many adventures you have experienced, both in this world and in your own. Throughout every interaction, every quest is the underlying sense of hope and optimism for the future. This future does not preserve to become another pawn or to the Mad King, and you intend to stop that from happening. When you arrive, the asteroid does not resemble what you had expected. The egg-shaped asteroid is about 4 km and it is widest at its widest and looks awfully normal. Yet the yellow color is closer to a mur murky brown than gold. Uh, it is littered with crates and uh, craters and cavities, battered by the harshness of space. Without delay, you sweep on and descend onto the surface of Fragment, ready to face the Royal Princess of Carcosa. Okay, so there are uh, only additional rules and clarification is flipping locations in Fragment. In this scenario, you may be instructed to flip a location to its other side. When this occurs, simply flip the location, keeping all tokens, attachments, investigators, enemies and other cards on that same location, which will have a different name. Then add clues on that location up to its clue value. Locations which cannot be flipped will simply ignore the instructions to flip it and will not pre prevent abilities from triggering. So that is in, uh, the introduction. So let's read the agenda and acts. So agenda 1A, the shadow length, uh, the shadows length. Uh, Although your scanners have not detected any anomalies within the fragment, stepping down onto the surface still invokes a sense of dread like no other. You, can help, you can't help but feel like something horrible will happen if you take too long. They are dawdling around. There is no doom threshold. 
keep adding doom to this agenda. In Lost Carcosa, during the descent, the glimmer of a man-shaped structure could be seen in the distance. The remains, uh, the remnants of the prior cultist expedition, they must have left traces as how to enter the Grand Palace. Objective, if abandoned lander is revealed and there are no clues on it, advance. So, I'll just quickly look at the different tokens. So, skulls are minus two if you fail. Uh, while you are at a cave location, take one damage. And cultist is minus two if you fail while you are at a Carcosa location, take one horror. A tablet is minus one. I you must either choose one, reveal another token, or cross out one tally mark next to your memories. And elder thing is minus two if you are at a Carcosa location, add one doom to the current agenda, or automatically fail this skill test. Okay, and uh, as as far as I can see, there are no scanning stuff here, so this is just in here as a reminder. We probably are not scanning anything in this scenario. But that is everything, so without further delay, let's get started. Okay, and we are ready to begin. So I'll draw my opening hand and we'll see how that goes from that there on. So we get uh, Guard Dog again, Mind Sai, Promise of Power, and Double Six Sense. So we are getting rid of those. I think we can keep these and draw two more cards. And we get uh, Defiance and Deny Existence. Well, some cancels, but we are really in need of some weapons or something. Yeah, weapons basically. So let's shuffle up, and I think I will just set up a bit here and start moving along after that. So funny, funny thing, we haven't seen our backpack level two one even once during after we have added that to the deck to have a better uh, possibility to draw our item assets. But it is what it is. So first action, uh, we will play mine side. This is just to set up a bit. Then uh, I'll take a resource and play the guard dog. No, I'll play this. No, I, we don't have an extra uh, slot for arcanes yet, so we'll play the guard dog. So that is my whole first turn. Nothing else is happening. No enemies will go to upkeep. We draw Holy Rosary, level 2, and gain a resource. So, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom. Encounter card for this round is... Echoes of Tassilda. Mind, Madness, Search, Peril, Hidden. Revelation, secretly add this card to your hand. Action when an investigator would be defeated by horror. Cancel that horror and add this card to the victory display. If you are not the only undefeated investigator remaining, that investigator cannot be you. Okay, well, hmm, I have to wrap my head around this. So, reaction when an investigator would be defeated by horror. Cancel that horror and add this card to the victory display. If you are not the only undefeated investigator remaining. That investigator... Okay, so it, it is basically that I can't uh, make myself be uh, defeated by horror to get this to the victory display if there are other players, but they are not, so I ignore that last part. Okay, well... Nothing to cancel, so first action, we'll move to the Abandoned Lander. For Shroud 1 clue, cannot be flipped. When investigating this location, reduce the Shroud by 1 for each tally mark next to your memories. So it is a Shroud of 3. Second action, we will try to investigate this location. So I'm using the Defiance, and that will automatically cancel every special token. So we are investigating 4 versus 3, because we have one memory. And we ignore this. So, 
That's great. We draw a card for ignoring stuff and gain a resource. And we get this clue. So we get to advance. If abandoned lander is revealed and there are no clues on it, advance. Where all is lost. Hidden within a compartment of the abandoned shuttle is a two-sided map of the asteroid created by the cultists during their initial exploration. On one side of the map there are drawings of a vast and tunneling caverns spreading throughout the interior of Fragment. When you flip it over to its other side, the map depicts something else instead, a grand palace with always replacing tunnels and majestic chambers in the place of subterranean cavities. It appears that there are certain weaknesses in their veil of reality that allow the explorers to temporarily shift certain places into the dimension known as Carcosa. If the investigators have watched Hair of Carcosa, we haven't. Otherwise, studying the map for a while does not register any memories. You take the map with you and begin the search for the caverns. The entrance to the grim entrance to the realm of Carcosa would all set aside two-sided locations in the clay cave side face up. Spawn the set aside beast of Aldebaran enemy in the Cyclopean caverns. So I'll do that um, in a moment. So the hair to Carcosa, you must find and confront Tasilda in this reality, defying asteroid before she is elevated by her father and spreads the madness of Carcosa throughout the colonies. Uh, fast trigger ability, if you are at a cave or Carcosa location, spend one clue as a group, flip your location and all connecting locations to their other side. Objective, find the royal princess of Carcosa, you will be instructed when to advance. So we have a bunch of locations here. And we have the Beast of Aldebaran here, so I have to have a weapon to fight that guy. So uh, we have a hidden passage here. Choose route one clue. And uh, these are actually double sided, so we'll immediately put one clue there. Just doing this so I'll get a bit more room here to lay out these. Hidden passage. Then, uh, what is connected to the hidden passage? Bottomless pit. Four shroud, zero clues. And uh, there's no text there, but there's two shroud, one clue. They, this is four shroud, zero clues. Force, as you enter bottomless pit, move to any other non surface location, take three di direct damage and lose all remaining actions. So, you probably don't want to do that. Okay. Then uh, we have. Uh, okay, I have to figure out the co uh, correct order here. So we are connected to this one and this one, and actually this one. Okay. Okay. And this is connected to this one. Uh, to see that. Well, uh, these these are probably connected to something like this. But I'll I'll fix that later off camera so I have not take up that much time. So last action we will draw a card. I need to find a weapon. So let's see where this guy spawned. Cyclopean caverns. Okay so this guy is over here. I'll just mark it with this. And uh, there are some clues. So I'll, I'll uh, look at those later, but last action was to draw a card. Then, uh, no enemy actions. That guy doesn't have Hunter or anything. So we ready up, we draw a card, steadfast and gain a resource. So that is that round. I'll fix the map uh, between turns and let's go to the next round. Okay, and... <laughs> 
it was a bit of a hassle to get the map going. So basically the thing that was hard for me to grasp is that these are connected. So if I move from here, I get to here and etc. So that was basically what I was um, missing when I tried to lay this out. But yeah, uh, let's continue. So I'll read the uh, locations once I go into them. So we add a doom. We get an encounter card, which is the Yellow Mist Aloof Hunter. Yellow Mist location gains the card force trait. And four fight, three health per investigator, and one evade. Victory one. So this spawns at our location, so I'll mark it as it is aloof with a yellow sign. Okay. Nothing else to do here. Well, mm, I really don't know what to do here, so I'll just move. I'll investigate here. I'm committing one of the six senses to the test, so four versus two. Uh, minus five, so we fail. Last action, we will just investigate three versus two. Minus four, we fail. Well, and that a stupid thing. So I'll actually do a fast action and spend this clue to flip this location. And it is the palace gates. You cannot resign while palace gates is in play. Two shroud, one clue. Oh yeah, and uh, we don't have a f uh, resign action either way at the moment. And this is connected. This can't be flipped. This cannot be flipped, but this can. So we flip this. So it is the four shroud, zero cruise force. After you enter a bottomless pit, move to any other non-surface location. Take three direct damage and lose all remaining actions. And it flips to a spiral staircase. Three shroud, one two force. When spiral staircase flips, move each investigator at spiral staircase to connecting location. And it has one clue on it. Okay, well that was our turn. This enemy hunts here, but is aloof. And these are surface Carcosa, and this is Carcosa. And now, because this guy is here, it's also Carcosa. Nothing else happens, we'll go to upkeep. We draw Mind's Eye and gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a do. Encounter card for this round is... Irrestable Truths. Hex test. Intellect 3. If you are at a Carcosa location, you must commit all eligible skill cards to this test. If you ta fail, take 2, 4. And we are at a Carcosa location, so unfortunately, we have to commit both of these cards. Which is a shame. There goes one of our cancels. Nothing we can do. So we are testing 5 versus 3. Minus two, so we, at least we pass, but these are gone. So no six cents and no deny existence. Okay, well, first action, we'll try to investigate. And actually I'm fast committing this. So I'll add two charges on the mine's eye. So I'm actually Playing the Holy Rosary, first action. Then I am investigating three versus two. Minus four, <laughs> fail. We are investigating three versus two. Come on, give me one, one good pull. Minus two, we fail. Nothing else happens, we'll go to upkeep, we draw Azure Flame and gain a resource. That is that round, let's go to the next round. We add a Doom, again there's no upper limit to the Doom there. Encounter card is another irresistible truth, so now we don't have anything to commit, so 3 versus 3. 
and skulls is a minus two if you fail and while at a cave location take one damage. Well, it, we are not at, at a cave location, but we take two horror. And uh, that's bad, but it is what it is. First action. We will investigate three versus two. We need clues. Cultist is a minus two. If you are at the Carcass location, take one horror. Well, we'll take a horror. Investigating three versus two. Finally, minus one. Last action. We'll move over here. And we will actually use this to flip. So, uh, this flips. This flips. This flips. And uh, this flips. And this flips. And uh, And we get to move somewhere. We don't want to go there because we don't have a way to fight. So... Gardens of Throat gets plus one shroud. So let's see. So Gardens of Thought. Uh, Gardens of Thought gets plus one shroud for each connecting Karkos location. If this location is the only Karkos location in play, read the set aside depth. Delight story card, max once per game. We don't want to go there. Uh, Labyrinth of Tasulok uh, falls at the end of your turn if you are at this location, take one horror. And if this location is the only Karkos location, they. Well, I think we're just going here. And we end our turn here, so we have to take a horror. Nothing we can do. So enemy face, this guy hunts here. Upkeep. Another mine side. And we gain a resource. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. Uh, we add a doom. So five of something. Encounter card for this round is... Madness of Carcosa. Search pair hidden. Revelation secretly add this card into your hand. After an investigator is defeated, add this card to the victor display. Okay. So those are just taking my up my hand slot, so... Okay. Or um, my hand... Card ha slots in my hand. So, uh, first action. Well, I'll just commit this to get more charges on mine side. We have a ton of charges, but basically nothing to use them with. So, we will investigate 3 versus 2. Auto fail. Three versus two. Skull is a minus two, and I'm not at a cave location, so we don't take damage, but we fail. Three versus two. Uh, this is horrible. I think this is going to be a bad result for us. Plus one. Well, at least we got this this location. Okay, now we have to think. Can we flip locations so that we only have one Carcosa location? So if we flip, this flips, this flips, this flips, this flips. So these two are Carcosa locations. I think not. If we go here, next round, flip there. So this flips, this flips. This doesn't flip, so this should be the only cave location then. So we'll move, last action move here. Actually, fail, fail. No, we don't have any actions left. Okay, well, this guy moves here. And this guy 
screws it up because uh, this is now a car causal location even if it's lifts. Well, we will have to wait for that guy to move up here. Okay, well, nothing else happens. We'll go to upkeep. We draw dark inside and get a resource. Well, dark inside is good. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom. Encounter card is... Broken reality. Attach this card to a cave or Carcosa location with the fewest clues without a copy of broken reality attached. After you flip the attached location, flip it back to its original side and discard this card. Action, spend one clue, discard this card. So I can basically put this on a... Uh, Attach this card to the cave or Kakos location without a copy of Broken Reality. After you flip the attached location, flip it back. So I'll attach it to the hidden passage, because that we want to keep on this side. So, uh, let's see. We will move. Uh, damn. Uh, you cannot enter impassable ravine from connecting locations if there are no cargo locations in play and each undefeated investigator is at the location. Read set aside lost expedition story card max once per game. Okay, so we can't move here. So I'll actually do this. So those flip when that's not a Carcosa location. How do we want to actually do this? We can't move here, because that will make us take a lot of damage. Okay, this is... Uh, a pickle. I'll draw a card. This just blow. So could we defeat that guy? I'll engage this guy. And I'll hit it with the vicious blow. And commit the steadfast. We need to get rid of this guy. This screws up our game a lot. So, uh, we are three, four, five, six, seven, versus four. So, we need to succeed by two or more. I'm committing the Azure Flame also. So, uh, zero. Okay, so we deal three damage to this guy, so it's defeated and goes to the victory display. Okay, that helps us a bit with the puzzle here. So that is our whole turn. No enemy actions will go to upkeep, defiance, we gain a resource. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom. Encounter card for this round is. Echoes of Tassilda search for a hidden security at this card into your hand when an investigator would be defeated by the damage. Cancel that damage and well, yeah. We are just ignoring that. So, um, I think we have to flip this and start thinking of other things. So, this flips. This flips. This flips. And this flips. So now this reads uh, two shroud, one clue. If there are six cargo locations in play and each undefeated investigator is at this location, read the set aside lost expedition story card max once per game. We have one, two, three cargo locations. So not happening yet. 
and we will investigate here. Three versus two. Minus five, we fail, and we'll investigate again. Three versus two. Minus one, we'll grab this clue. Now let's think if we want to flip something. Um, if we flip this, this goes to Carcosa, this goes to Carcosa, this goes to uh, Cave, and this is a Cave. So we have, yeah, not, not working. Okay, well, we'll figure out that out next round, so we'll throw a card, defensive stance, and we get a resource, so that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom, encounter card for this round is scene shifting search. Revelation, you must either choose one place, one Doom on the current agenda, move each enemy one location towards you, each enemy at your location immediately attacks you. I am adding one Doom. I don't know, I have no idea what that does, but we are actually... I forgot I have a uh, Dark Inside in hand, so I'm playing that. So we basically pay one and get that deny existence, so that didn't trigger. Okay, we are getting there. So I'll move here. So uh, Guardians of the Trout gets plus one Trout for each connecting Carcosa location. If this location is the only Carcosa location in play, read the set aside delight story card. Well. I think I will try to investigate here. And I will commit defiance to this test. So I'm investigating 4 versus 3. Uh, and I ignore this because I uh, committed defiance, so great. We succeed, we get Twilight Blade and a resource, and we get this clue. So, this is okay. Let's back up. I forgot this is plus one shroud for each connecting Carcosa location, which is two, so it's five, and we were. Uh, 4 versus 5, and uh, we basically threw a 0, so we would still fail. So we didn't get the clue, but we cancelled the token, so that's there. Okay, well, we didn't get the clue. Doesn't matter. Okay, well, how do we want to do this? So if we flip now... We have one Carcosa location in play. Hmm. We'll see what the happens. So I'll use this. This flips. This flips. We can't move there. It gets a clue. Uh, this flips. Uh, ice cavity gets minus one shroud for each connecting cave location. Okay. And this flips. So we have one Carcosa location in play. And does this have a. If this is the, location, the only Carcosa location in play, read the set aside arrival of the King story card. Max once per game. Okay, so I think I will take the risk and go there and try to fight the Beast of Aldebaran. So, next round maybe. Um, so, is this any good fight? You may use uh, willpower instead of uh, combat for this attack. You may play or commit events and skill spin it, Diana Stanley, as if they were in hand, as, it, as an additional cost to play. 
commit a card in this way, exhaust Twilight play, you cannot trigger Diana Stannis until you play committing cards like this. Okay, well, yeah, we'll play the Twilight Blade for one time this campaign at least. And I think next round we'll try to go there. So we have only one Carcosa location in play. Okay, last action. We will draw a card. Holy Rosary. Okay. Uh, now enemy actions will go to upkeep. We draw a promise of power and gain a resource. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add another doom. Two, four, eight, six, eight, nine. And counter card is broken reality. Attach this card to a cave or cargo's location with the fewest clues without a copy of a broken reality. Mm. Well, let's see. This has the fewest clues. So I'll put it here. And uh, we'll move here. And if this location is the only Carcosa location in play, read the set aside arrival of the King Story card. That's once per game. So we read the arrival of the King. So standing and sitting in the small groups around the ballroom are statues of the inhabitants of the palace. They are all gaily dressed for a masquerade though they have all unmasked. On closer inspection you realize that statues are spe speaking in low, stunned tones. As if time here has slowed almost to a standstill, they share all amongst each other the faintest rumors about the royal family of Carcosa. It is an echo of the moment the city of Yithil, where, wherein the palace lay, become, became Carcosa and the royal family of the palace learned the, that they were inevitably doomed. They stand around now, morose, morose and uncertain. The people of the palace were truly lost in both mind and soul. Each investigator may cross out any amount of tally marks next to their memories. For every uh, two tally marks just crossed out, you may cross out one tally mark under impending doom in your Campbell of Add this card to the victory display. Uh, well, I ha only have one, so I can't do that, so I'll just add that to the victor display. Okay, well, then uh, we are fighting this guy with our Twilight Blade. So I'm fighting four versus three. Uh, first off, we will defensive stand, so I will be... Seven versus three. Skull is uh, minus two, I'm not in a cave location, so we deal one damage. And uh, last action, we will hit again. And I will use the promise of power so we add one curse token uh, into the chaos bag so one curse goes into the bag so we are uh, eight versus three it is a skull again so we deal another damage uh, enemy face, this guy hits me, but I will deny existence and not take the damage. I'll take the horror, and the guard dog fights back. And I'll draw a card and gain a resource. So that is that round. Uh, we'll still do the upkeep. So we draw a card, machete, and gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom, 10 of something, 
Tester's Domain. To Tester's Domain, you play next to the agenda deck. After you flip any number of locations, take one horror action test, willpower 3 or agility 3 if you succeed discard Tester's Domain. Okay. First action, we will play Machete and I will dodge the attack of opportunity. So I cancel that attack and test. I will do a mind side test for four. For five versus one. Uh, so curse. So three versus one. Minus two. We succeed. The curse goes away. And we deal one damage. And we paid for the machete, of course. And we cancelled something. So we draw a card, virtual access key, and we gain a resource. We will hit with the machete, and I will mind side this. So I'm hitting six versus three minus two. We deal two damage, and uh, still need to hit one more time. So, we'll do another mine side. Six versus three. Nine versus three. Cultist is uh, minus two if you fail. Well, we didn't fail. So, we defeat this evil guy. Goes into the victor display. Uh, that, was, that was good. Let's get rid of that guy. Okay, and that was our turn. No enemies will go to upkeep. We get talisman of protection and gain a resource. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom. Don't even know how many that is. Maybe 11. Encounter card is uh, Sophistic Spires or nearest Carcosa location. Massive. So this is the lo only Carcosa location. Doesn't attack during the enemy phase, so uh, five health. So we're just whacking this down immediately. Okay, so we're not making any progress here, but it is what it is. So and it is massive. So first action, we will hit with the machete. Uh, I'm hitting uh, four versus two. Four versus two, and I oh damn! So you must either choose one, reveal another token, or cross out one tally mark next to your memories. I will cross out one memory, so I have zero memories left, but I at least hit. I will uh, hit again. Nothing to commit. Cultist is a minus two, so we hit and deal the two damage. And last, I will hit with the Twilight Blade, so I'm hitting six first. Two. Minus two, so we defeat this guy. So that, that was our whole turn. We're not getting anywhere here. So uh, we'll go to upkeep. We draw a card back, back. Well, a bit late and gain a resource, so that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add another Doom, so 12... Uh, six. Yeah, 12 of nothing, and then counter card is Tattered Curtain, spawn nearest Carcos location, does not attack during the enemy phase. After you flip Tattered Curtain's location, move it one location towards you. Okay, well, we are repeating ourselves, so... I am hitting it with the machete, and I have to use the mine side to actually hit it. So I am hitting six versus uh, four, so zero deal two damage, and mine side six versus four, 
Elder Sign. I'll actually take uh, Dark Insight into hand. This is defeated. And last action, we will investigate, and I'll use the Mind Sigh. Six versus four. Zero will grab one clue. Uh, actually, five versus four anymore. Uh, no, six because we have the Holy Rosary. But yeah, I was hitting on seven versus something, but yeah. And uh, we don't do anything else, so we'll go to upkeep. We draw water protection and gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add another doom. Encounter card for this round is Song of Your Soul. Put Song of Your Soul into play in a threat area at the end of the round for each event in your hand. Either discard one it or take one horror, then discard Song of Your Soul. So I'm cancelling this and taking one horror. Okay, I'm one horror away from dying, but I have some soak here. So uh, we are probably dead, so... Okay, so I'm cancelling two. Those are gone. And uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, so... I'm discarding these two. Keep these in here. Okay, that, that was a bad weakness pull. But it is what it is, so we'll go... Uh, start continue here, so... I'll try to get rid of this, and I'm going Agility, so I'll commit this, and no, I'll play Holy Rosary first. Then I'll try to, I'll use the backpack, so 4 versus 3, trying to get rid of that, plus 1, okay. I will... Oh yeah, this should be here. I will... Okay, I'll flip these locations. By spending this. And last action move here. Well, that's that, so nothing else happens. We go to upkeep, we draw, read the signs, and gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, well, uh, we add a doom, so it is um, 14 doom. Encounter card is chosen by him. A revelation attached, chosen by him to an item spell or ally as it control. That can be played first at the end of your turn. Take two direct damage and shuffle the attached asset back into your deck. Uh, action remove that uh, attached asset from the game. So I'm <coughs> I'm attaching it to the Twilight Blade. Yeah. Or I'm actually cancelling that. Okay, two getting one and one, so this doesn't happen. So talisman of protection, I think we we don't have any slots for that, but I think we can get rid of the mine side soon enough. Mm. I think we need a couple of clues so that we could get only one location as a closer location in a couple of turns so I'll just investigate here and uh, now I'll move over here I will uh, do the read the signs investigating seven versus four Plus one, and we cancel the bad effect. 
there are any so we grab both of these clues we draw a card gain a resource and uh, Okay, now I think we want to go here, uh, get rid of this, and then flip. So these two will flip to not Karkos, and this will be Karkos. No, it doesn't work. This is still Karkos. <laughs> No, no, uh, I'll just move here. Okay, well, we'll figure it out next round. So that is that round, we'll draw a card, we a resource. And that is that round, let's go to the next round. We are the Doom. And count the card is... Oh, ah. Tattered curtains, well, of course it is. Well... We will hit the tether curtains. I'll use steadfast. I'm using the machete. Zero. We hit. Do two damage. We'll hit again. Uh, I'm using the mind side for this. So I'm uh, seven versus four. Skull, and we are not at a cave location, so we don't take any damage. This is defeated. Last action, we will move here, and we will spend one clue. So this flips. This flips. And that is the only Carcosa location. And this gets removed. So basically this flips, then flips back. So it gains a clue. But it's on cave side. And next round I think we will just take the damage from there and move there. But before that we'll play two talismans of protections. But yeah. So, no enemies will go upkeep, we draw guard dog, gain a resource, that is that round, let's go to the next round. We add a doom, so 16 of something, encounter card is unstable dimension, put this card into play in your threat area. Of course, at the end of your turn, take two damage and flip your current location to its other side, then discard this card. Spend two resources, discard this card. And I am cancelling that, but I don't have any room here, so I'll just take the horror here, this doesn't happen. So, as I planned, I will play, let's go away, double action, play two talisman of protection, oh yeah, these are fast. Okay, well... I'll play those. No, I'll play one. And one action, I'll play a guard dog. I'll investigate. Uh, just three versus two. And it is uh, reveal another token because we can't remove any more memories. On a three we fail. Last action we'll move here, take three damage and go here. And lose all remaining actions, but that's okay. So we'll go to upkeep, we draw drawn to the fame and gain a resource. Uh, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, we add a doom. We are at uh, there's 16, 17, 
we'll try to encounter the card. It is in shifting. You must either place one doom on the current agenda, move each enemy if there are enemies, so you have to place a doom. Okay. And it surges. Put this card in the play in your threat area. Okay. We don't have any cancels. So I will. If this is the only cargo to locate, read the, as I set aside delights. Okay, we'll read that. Within the gardens are plants that bear no resemblance to anything nat natural of earth. Fruits of unrecognizable chromatics populate the obsidian towers of web like silk. The scene describes a fever dream of in convenient. In inconceivable shapes and smells and extends across the very limits of your mind. You pick up one of the fruits that fell onto the floor to examine it, only to watch it not rot and uh, only watch it rot and decay uh, through your finger. Time in the realm of Kakosa does not behave as it does in your dimension. When you finally exit the Forbidden Gardens, an air of relief overcomes you. Although you can Describe the nature of what you experienced. It was nonetheless truly invigorating, and you feel like you are finally in control of your own destiny. You may choose and remove any non uh, out of hell symbol token from the chaos back for the remainder of the campaign at this card in the victory's play. So I think I'll remove tablets. Yeah, so I'll remove the tablet. But that doesn't help us a bit. So... Now, how do we want to continue from here? Uh, I'll spend two resources to get rid of this. If we flip this location, then this is the only cave location. But if we move here, then this is cave, this is Carcosa, Carcosa, Carcosa. Move, move, flip, Carcosa, 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 Cave, Cork, and not Carcosa. Hmm. Well, I think I'm drawn to the flaming here to get this clue. Cave collapse, each investigator at a cave location must then do Okay, so. Nothing happens, we are not in a cave location. Then... Okay, I'm spending one clue here, so we flip this one, this one, this one, and this one. I'll move over here. Flip this one, so we'll have to go to locations. Play. Hmm. Oh, 
this a pickle. Oh no, no, no. We'll move here and spend a clue. So this flips. This flips. Uh, this flips. And this flips. So again, this is the la uh, only Carcosa location in play. <clears throat> and if this location is the only Carcosa location, uh, read the For You Alone story card. Okay, so For You Alone, <clears throat> the halls grow increasingly in labyrinthine chambers, once brightly lit and spacious, grow dark and dusty and cramped. Yeah, you further st stray into the labyrinth until you reach a chamber with the walls and columns covering, covered in shells. Each shelf has a glass bottle upon it, no two of which was alike in shape or design, and each bottle is in inscribed with a name. There is an uncountable number of these flasks, enough to account for every individual individual in the universe, human and non-human alike, past and future. Eventually you come across a single dark container sitting in the corner, beckoning you to come closer. You flip it over and see your own name scrolled on the bottom. This is your bottle. It was meant for you. Search for the set-aside bot bottle of Whisper's weakness and add it to any investigator's hand. This card is added to their deck and does not count towards the investigator's deck size. Add this card to the victim's play. Okay, so we get this card. So, asset one cost uh, fast to play item. When an investigator at your location reveals an auto fail token or removal of whispers from the game, cancel that token and treat it as an elder sign instead. Okay, it doesn't help us one bit. We still need to get this as the only car course location. Okay, last action. <clears throat> I think that was the last action. Okay, so upkeep. Dragon pole. We can resource that. Is that round? Let's go to the next round. We add a doom. I'm actually running out of doom tokens. Uh, encounter card for this round is Song of Your Soul. Song of your soul in the play in your threat area at the end of the round for each event in your hand. Either discard it or take one horror, then discard song of your soul. Don't have any cancels. So I think I'm just playing the Bottle of Whispers. It is fast, so I just put it in the play. Playing it, of course. Mm. So this is the last location we need to get flipped over. I'm just investigating here, trying to get this clue. Three versus one. Uh, I mean three versus two. Skull. Uh, we fail. Not a cave location. We try again. Three versus two. Minus five. We try it again. Three versus two. Uh, call this, it's a Carcosa location, we take one horror, okay, well, I have to put it on the guard dog, and that is our turn, we fail, so no enemies, we'll go to upkeep, we draw a card, we gain a resource, that is that round, let's go to the next round. We add a doom, so I'm out of doom tokens. And count the card for this round is chosen by. Oh, yeah. The end of the round for each event in your hand. We didn't have any events. And we discarded this. So. Okay. So the encounter card for this round is chosen by him. Revelation. And that's chosen by him to an item, spell, or ally as to control that, he, that can leave play force at the end of. Your turn take two direct damage and shuffle the attach as back into your deck. No cancels in hand. So continuing and trying to investigate here. Three versus two. Minus two, we fail. Three versus two. 
uh, minus two, we fail. Three versus two. Minus one, we get the clue. Okay, let's think for a moment for next round. So, if we spend this clue... Here. Uh, we can't spend it there. Okay. So basically, uh, if we go there, and we spent the clue there next round, then these flip, this stays the same. Then we go. Okay, well, I'll figure it out later, but that's that round. So we've got upkeep, we draw unspeakable oaths. Cowardice and gain a resource. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom. I'm. I don't have any more uh, doom tokens. So I'll use wound tokens. So we are at twenty-one doom. <laughs> Encounter cowardice. Aster's domain, but Aster's domain failed me. Well, first action. I will get rid of this with willpower. So I'm six, uh, seven versus three. I fail. I try again. Seven versus three. Yeah, get rid of that. I'll move over. No, I'll flip this location. This location this location and then last action move here that is that round we'll go to upkeep we draw Come of power and gain a resource. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. Uh, 22. Doom. Broken reality. Okay, now I have to really think. Does this card to a cave or a cause a location with a few clues without a copy of broken reality? So if I flip this, these all come Carcosa, but that doesn't. Okay, so it's simple now that I thought about it, so I'll put it over here. Then I need this clue and this clue, then I need to go here, flip this, flip this again, so that is the only Carcosa location. Then we get to do the Lost Expedition story as a card. So I'll investigate here, I'm committing the promise of power, so putting one curse token to the back. I am investigating seven versus three. Minus one, we grab this clue. We move here. We'll investigate, and I don't have anything to commit to this test, so hoping we 
block out. So three versus two. Zero, we get this clue. So now we will flip. Uh, this doesn't flip, but this goes away. This flips. And we flip again. So I'm not even turning that around. So this flips. And that's our turn. No enemies will go to upkeep. We draw Dragon Ball, gain a resource. How many cards do we have? Actually, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom, so 23 Doom, <laughs> encounter card. Sophistic Spires, nearest card goes allocation, so it's that one. Okay. We'll just move here. Uh, this is massive, so it's engaged with us, but it's the only Karkos allocation. So I will read the Lost Expedition. Uh, if this is the first time you read this, eventually you come across the bodies of several cultists, the missing survey team. They have abandoned their helmets and died from sudden fatal decompression. When you scan their notes, you, your worst fears have been confirmed. Tasilda no longer exists in this dimension, but has elevated into godhood and now, re now resides along with her father between the fabric of space-time and within the core of all stars. And yet, there is a great complication from the survey team's notes also unmask the true nature of the king in yellow. Our destruction gives it form, our violence gives it name. Our screams give it vo a voice. It is no, no more of a deity than gravity is, no matter how many people worship and as ascribe it uh, a personality and an intelligence. It is the thermodynamic concept of entropy itself that you face. The gradual and inevitable decline of any system into absolute chaos and by all understanding of physics there is no stopping it. Regardless of if this is the first time you read this, advance the current act and set this card aside while play. Okay, well... Ah, uh, current act. The end. You will never know if Tasilda was real, but what you have learned from the cultist is that the arcane ritual that supposedly released her also accelerated the increasing entropy of the universe. In fact, K2 PS187 announced that with the new constant constants in play, the sun itself will implode in just a few more years and annihilate everything within a few light years. You search the cultist for any methods to reverse this action, but find no solutions in, uh, to this impossible puzzle. The only hope left is to try to survive the supernova and save as many as you can. As you contempt you, your next steps, the entire asteroid begins trembling, and an inhuman roar echoes throughout the halls and caverns behind you. Advance to Agenda 2A and Act 2, 3A. Do not remove Doom from play. Move all Doom from um, Agenda 1 to Agenda 2A. Spawn to set aside Cave Dweller, enemy at the abandoned la lander. Okay, so we get this Cave Dweller here. The unspeakable truth. You won't be able to warn anyone of the impending doom if you don't get out of this one alive. You must escape this asteroid as soon as you can. And uh, the same flipping action and objective each undefeated investigator has resigned advance. So this advances and we are out of time, so shall try or die. Your landing must have disturbed the pocket reality hidden within the fragment. The entire asteroid is being beginning to collapse and soon you will be trapped within. Get out of here while you still can. Surface of fragment gains resign. Well, uh, doom threshold is 19 and we are at 23, so that will advance next round. So my last remaining actions will be just to kill this uh, this spheres uh, uh, spires so hitting uh, four versus two call this and we do two damage with the machete and last action we'll hit again uh, minus three we miss so this guy hits two horror on us so uh, 
these are no the talisman breaks then this guy has massive retaliate hunter so it hunts here but yeah that is that round we draw dodge and gain a resource so let's see if the game ends next round we add another doom so this advances mad carcosa you couldn't all make it out in time. The vortex of the pocket dimension sucks you and your companions back into the yellow palace. When the trembling finally ends, you exit the palace to find yourself in a warped alien city. Its twisting streets and aberrant architecture have no semblance or of order or structure. In the distance, a murky lake reflects the glare of two suns. You are trapped within Carcosa Resolution 2. So let's see what Resolution 2 means. <clears throat> you wake up in cold sweat back in the uh, yeah resolution two. You wake up in cold sweat back in the cryo chamber while you are confused and disoriented. No, yeah. While you are confused and disoriented, K two PS one eighty seven explains that you have been. In a coma for over two months after you have decided to enter your own mind, your experience... Uh, ...on the asteroid, the true nature of Haster, it was too real to be imagined. It must have been for forged from fragments of the cultist memories. Regardless of the circumstances, you now know of the impending doom of the solar system and, the under and understand what you must do. Save as many as you can before the inevitable. Each investigator earns experience equal to the victory axe value of each card in the victory display. Add two telemax under impending doom in your camp alone. Proceed to scenario uh, 6, star 4. So, uh, we managed to get to the final scenario, but... Yeah, how many experience did we get? So, none from here. This is zero, one, two, three, four, five experience. So, yeah, that was a long one. Well, uh, the next one probably is as long as this one, but we'll see. But yeah, um, nearly died here, but managed to uh, progress forward to the next scenario. But that was a long one, and this this is a really brain bust, uh, bursting <laughs> scenario with the flipping but still hope you guys like this quite long playthrough thanks for watching and until next time